Hey, what's up, YouTube? What's up, everybody? Back at you with another one on today. I am TA of Noble Sports Entertainment. Breaking news for you guys on today. Tyron Lu has decided not to sign the deal and rejected the offer of the Lakers, which was a three-year deal, reportedly worth $18 million. Uh, it looks like the Lakers are going to go in a different direction. Um, a lot of people uh, was rumored and said that Tyron Lue would be the man for the job. But it looks like the Lakers are wanting to go in another way, in another direction. Now, there are three other candidates out there that the Lakers have added to this. Uh, and that's Mike Woodson, Frank Vogel, and also uh, Lionel Hollins. So we're going to see, guys, what happens. But uh, definitely, man, um, we pretty much thought that Tyron Lou would probably get the job because he had two interviews with the Lakers. And uh, we, we thought that um, it would pan out and that LeBron would get the coach um, that he was familiar with, the coach that he won a championship with. And also, not only that, guys, Tyron Lou, if you don't um, remember, he won a, um, a championship with the Lakers as well. He was a basketball player on the Lakers at the time. I remember when he uh, tried to guard – Allen Iverson on the baseline, and you know Allen Iverson had that uh, that famous step over uh, Tyron Lue and you know keep on booking type of thing. But definitely, man, I thought that Tyron Lue was definitely going to be their coach. It looked like um, everything was uh, going in the right direction, and then on today we get the breaking news that uh, things are not working out, and um, Tyron Lue has rejected the offer. So it looks like the Lakers are going to go in a different direction. So um, we got to see what the Lakers are going to do, man. Um, the three other coaches, I thought that they would uh, give Jason Kidd and Mark Jackson and Jawan Howard another call, but they decided to go with three other coaches. So um, the Lakers are going to be busy this offseason because the biggest thing is trying to get another free agent to come in and play on the team, even if you don't get Anthony Davis, because there's a good possibility um, that um, the Pelicans still may not trade Davis to the Lakers. They may try to uh, trade them to the Celtics. So the Lakers are going to be busy, man, especially with uh, Magic Johnson departing from the uh, president of operations and uh, pretty much Rob Palenka is starting to run things. And uh, we just got to see how this thing goes as uh, the Lakers uh, commit themselves to uh, three other people. And we're going to see how this process go. Mike Wilson, we know, was a, a decent coach. Um, I remember him being on the Pistons staff, and he's been on a, the Atlanta Hawks staff and was a coach and stuff like that. And uh, I definitely remember um, Frank Vogel with those Indiana Pacers who uh, was getting in and making some run and some noise in the East. And then you got to remember Lionel Hollins, who had the, uh, the Memphis Grizzlies, who uh, the Grizzlies was definitely competitive every season in the playoffs. Even though they never won a championship, they were competitive. So, all right, guys, we're going to find out what the Los Angeles Lakers are going to do. Um, but till then, I'll be back to you guys soon with another video. I'm out of here. Peace.